Okay, next. On March 20 pa din, checks totaling 25,000 were received from clients for billings dated March 17. So, sa transaction ng March 20, nagbayad yung mga customer ni Medina. Sa accounting, ang checks is considered as cash. And so, pag gusto nyo malaman kung ano yung mga cash, meron akong, meron ditong separate video ng cash. Watch nyo na lang yon. Pero sa accounting, sa basic accounting, checks is still considered as cash. So, nung March 20, ulit, nakareceive ka ng cash. Nagbayad yung customer mo sa'yo. 25, ah sorry, nagbayad yung customer ni Medina sa kanya. So, nakareceive ka ng cash, 25,000 dagdag sa cash, then, mababawasan yung receivable na 35,000 ng 25,000. Okay, balanse yung entry. Balanse, 25,000 plus negative 25,000 is zero. Zero yung portion ng liabilities and owners equity. March 21, Medina withdrew 20,000 from the business for his personal use. So, si Medina nung March 21, kumuha siya ng cash sa kanyang business. Nag-withdraw siya. So, mababawasan yung cash niya ng 20,000. And since na ang paggagamitan niya ay personal use, nag-withdraw siya, mababawasan ng kanyang owner's equity 20,000 negative balance ang entry next March 27 ayan March 27 na tayo March 27 Loke Loke Publishing submitted a bill to Medina for 8,000 worth of newspaper advertisements for this month Medina will pay this bill next month. Okay, nakareceive ka ng billing. And, ang ex yun ang example ng accrued liabilities. Once na nakakareceive ka ng billing such as electricity, advertisement, water, kapag nareceive yun ni business entity, considered na siya, na siya as expense. Kahit na hindi pa bayad. So, since na meron ng expense, kasi nakapag-incur nakapag, nakapag na ng advertisement tong si Medina. So, magre-recognize tayo ng expense noong March 27. Okay. Yan, yan. Okay. So, ito ay expense. So, automatic na mababawasan ng owner's equity ng 8,000. Okay, balance yung entry. Hindi pa. Ngayon, itong bill, isabi, Medina will pay this bill next month. So, ibig sabihin, hindi pa siya bayad. Next month pa siya babayaran. So, madadagdagan ang iyong liability ng 8,000. Kasi babayaran mo pa next month yung advertisement. So, balance ba ang entry? Assets, walang effect, zero. We have liabilities na 8,000 plus the negative 8,000, zero ang entry. Ah, sorry, zero ang total. So, balance ang ating basic accounting model. Medina paid his assistant designer salaries of 15,000 for the month. Okay. So, ngayon, nagpasweldo na si Medina graphics design ng kanyang empleyado. And salaries expense, ay sorry, salaries is considered as expense. So, nagkaroon ulit ng expense itong si Medina. Nagbayad siya ng sweldo. So, nabab, nabawasan ang kanyang cash ng 15,000. Ngayon, ang expense is kabawasan lagi sa owner's equity. So, mababawasan ang owner's equity ng 15,000 entry still balance. 15, negative 15 is equal to negative 15. Okay. So, ito na yung naging naging financial transaction worksheet natin. And since na na-check natin from time to time, pag nare-record tayo ng transactions yung 
balances ng basic accounting model na dapat laging equal, most likely, ang total asset dito sa last, last line item is equal dito sa liabilities and owner's equity. So, i-check natin yung totals. We have 248 sa cash, 10,000 sa accounts receivable, 25,000 sa supplies, 145,000 sa computer equipment. So, ang total assets ay 428,000. Ngayon, yung liabilities naman plus owner's equity, 16,000 plus 412, we have 428,000. Balance, ang basic accounting model, 428, 428. Asset equals liabilities plus owner's equity. Okay, ang next discussion natin ay yung the double entry system, the debits and credits.